Hi class, in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you about cardiac output, how to calculate for cardiac output and what does it really mean. So if you think about the heart and what it does, it is very important for the heart to pump oxygenated blood out of the left ventricle and feed oxygen all the way to your brain, your head, and all the way to your toes. So the cardiac output is really looking at the amount of blood pumped by the heart in one minute. So um, if you look at that unit of measurement, that's gonna be cardiac output, the amount of blood in milliliters pumped per minute. Well, that's gonna depend a lot on what is the heart rate, how fast is that heart pumping that blood out? So that will be measured in beats per minute. How many times does the heart beat per minute? Well, not only does it, how many beats does it beat per minute, but what is the volume of blood it, be, it pumps out per minute or per stroke? So each time the heart beats is considered a stroke. And what is the amount of blood that is being pumped out per beat or per stroke? So you can look at this little figure here that's measuring, like if we're able to visualize, as the left ventricle is pumping up blood, how much that blood is being pumped out is considered stroke volume. So really this equation is simply cardiac output is equal to the heart rate times the stroke volume, okay? And in this slide, I'm defining heart rate and stroke volume and looking at what is some of the defects in rate or some kind of differences in rate but also some of the differences in contraction, meaning the stroke of the heart. In the next slide, I'm gonna kind of write out what that means and how to calculate for cardiac output. So in this uh, unit, you will be doing some calculation, okay? So we're gonna do some, a few simple calculations, but if you're really worried about math and things like that, you might wanna have a calculator ready. Most of the problem I'm gonna design so that um, it is um, doable without a um, calculator, but if you really have anxiety over math for the quizzes and stuff, you might want to have a calculator ready. Okay, so let's take a look at this. So cardiac output, remember, is equal to heart rate times stroke volume. Okay. So if I gave you a problem, like say, like this problem one, where I tell you the patient has a heart rate of 70 beats per minute, and then have a stroke volume of, let's just put it at um, 70 milliliters, per beat. So each time the heart beats is sending out 70 milliliters of blood and it is beating at 70 beats per minute. Okay, so you're going to put in cardiac output is to equal to heart rate times stroke volume. So what we're going to figure out is we want to figure out what the cardiac output is. So we already know the heart rate is 70 beats per, that's a line, one minute. And now I'm going to multiply that by the stroke volume, which is 70 mils per beat. So 70 milliliters per one beat. Okay, so that's set up. And now we want to figure out what the cardiac output is. For some of you, you're going to be seeing very clearly that you're going to multiply. Okay, but let's take a look at what we're doing here. So if you look at um, just looking at simple stoichiometry and multiplying things all, when you multiply these two fractions all, you're looking at 70 beats per one minute and 70 mil per one beat. So the beat is the unit that we can cross up. That's very convenient because we already know, we should know that the cardiac output is equal to milliliters per one minute. All right? So if you multiply this out, you're gonna figure out that the cardiac output is seven times seven is 49, 
and then we have two zeros here. So 4,900 milliliters per minute, and that's equal to the cardiac output. So your final answer is 4,900 milliliters per minute, or you can also write it as 4.9 liters per minute. Okay, so hopefully that helps you with the calculation. Um, on the next slide, I'm going to teach you how to calculate what if you're given the cardiac output, how do you figure out the other items? So let's put in a new slide. Again, you can have a calculator if the math is just all too overwhelming for you. Um, you could obviously use a calculator on the quizzes. So let's here look at if I gave you that a patient average cardiac output is 5,000, let's say. 5,000 milliliters per minute. Okay, and now I'm gonna give you that this is a athlete, okay? So it's athlete heart rate, so Olympic athlete heart rate is 50 beats per minute. What is the stroke volume? So this is uh, some algebra, some math you can do. So we already know that the cardiac output is equal to heart rate times stroke volume. So what we're gonna look at is that if I have the average cardiac output is 5,000 mils per minute, and we have the heart rate is 50 beats per, so beats per one minute. And we're trying to figure out the stroke volume. So our value we're trying to figure out is stroke volume. So what we know is that if we divide this side by 50 and divide this side by 50, what you're left with is the stroke volume. So if I divide this by 50, this becomes one, right? So that is one stroke volume. So 50, divided by 5,000, right? Cross out 50, 50, we're gonna have 100 is the stroke volume, but what is the unit, right? Remember stroke volume is the amount of blood pumped up per beat. So we're gonna put out milliliter per one beat is the answer. So the answer for what is the stroke volume is 100 milliliters per beat. So hopefully you can follow along and calculate um, both the cardiac output and the stroke volume. Heart rate is an easy thing for us to measure by measuring the pulse. So we're just using this to help you kind of understand what the meaning is for cardiac output and the stroke volume. Okay, let me know if you have any questions, contact me. Hopefully this video helps out. Mm -hmm.